Welcome to the CSAT series. Today's question. Choose the group which is different from the others. So this question was previously asked in the CSAT 2023. The question is showing four options. Option A, 17, 37, 47, 97. In B, 31, 41, 53, 67. Option C, 71, 73, 79, 83. Option D, 83, 89, 91 and 97. You are containing a set of four numbers in each option. Here what is our work? Among these four options, three are similar in one of the way and only one is different from the other three. So our work is to find the remaining one that is the one different one we want to find. So what is the idea here? This concept is actually asked from under the number system. The subtopic is prime numbers and composite numbers. So let us see the prime numbers concept first. Solution next. One of the concepts from number system is prime numbers and composite numbers. Prime numbers are those exactly they have two factors. So, simply I write numbers which are having exactly two factors are called prime numbers. Whereas, composite numbers are those they are having more than two factors. Example for prime numbers, let me take 19. So, if you factorize 19, you will get 1 and 19 are the factors. So, exactly two factors the number 19 have. So, 19 is considered as the prime number. For example, for composite number, I can take number 25. If you factorize number 25, you get 1 is a factor, 25 is a factor, as well as 5 is also the factor. So, more than two factors, number 25 has. So, 25 is considered to be the composite number while number 19 is considered to be the prime number. Okay. This is the basic concept about prime and composite numbers. Next one is, what do you think about number 1? Whether this number 1 belongs to the prime number category or composite number category. This is my question for you. Yes, you are right. 1 is neither prime nor composite number because if you factorize 1 you will get this one into another one so how many factors does number 1 have one has only one factor one is written twice so however it is written twice only one number so one will not come under the prime number category because for prime number it must have exactly two. So for in the case of one it is having only one factor. For composite number it must have more than two factors. As one is not having two or more than two it will not come under the prime number category as well as on the composite number category. So about one, one is neither prime nor composite number. Let us see some of the important properties of prime numbers. Point number 1. 1 is neither prime nor composite number. This is what just we have discussed. Second point. Number 2 is the only even prime number. So, in the prime numbers list, you can see only one even number that is 2. After 2, no any even number comes under the prime numbers category. This is one important property. Property number 3. No prime number greater than 5 ends in a 5. What does it mean? 5 is the only prime number ending with 5 other than 5. 15, 25, 35, 105 like any other number ending with 5 will not come under the category of prime number. Making use of these properties, this one we can follow. That is 
except the prime numbers 2 and 5, all other prime numbers are ending with 1 or 3 or 7 or 9. Keeping this in mind, we can shortlist the prime numbers from 1 to 100. Let's do that. So, using the rule, except the prime numbers 2 and 5, 1 or 3 or 7 or 9 will be the ending number for the prime numbers. So, create the list from 1 to 100. For this, I can give you a fancy number to remember. Using this fancy number, you can make your own list of prime numbers from 1 to 100. The fancy number like this. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, double 2, double 4. What is this one? From the range 91 to 100, there is only one prime number. What does this 2 mean? This 2 means from 81 to 90, there are 2 prime numbers. Similarly, here 1 to 10. In this range, what is the fancy number allotted? 4. So, between 1 to 10, there are 4 prime numbers. So, you can make use of these fancy number trick to collect and shortlist the prime numbers from 1 to 100 if you are a beginner. So, here these 4, all these 4 are prime numbers because the 4 is given here. Here, all these 4 are prime numbers because the fancy number allotted to them is 4 from 11 to 20. In the shortlisted value, we have just 4 numbers. The next one, 21 to 30, there are 2. So, what is the idea I will make? Already 2 we have cancelled. Every even number we have removed. What is the next number? 3. So, using the test of divisibility for 3, we can eliminate the remaining composite numbers in this case. So, what is the rule for test of divisibility with 3? If sum of the digits are divisible by 3, then the numbers are divisible by 3. You look at the value 21, 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, this number is divisible by 3. So, it is a composite number, you can remove it. And here 27, it is a multiple of 3. So, I got 2 as the fancy number. Here I got 23 and 29 as the prime numbers. And between 31 to 40, I can remove 33 because this 33 is divisible by 3. As well as this 39 is also divisible by 3, 3 plus 9, 12. Remaining 31 and 37 are prime numbers. Here I got two prime numbers, so no need to check that. So the prime numbers here are 31 and 37. The next set, we must have three prime numbers between 41 to 50. So let me take here. 3 is not divisible in any of these 4 numbers, but this 49, 7, 7s are 49, it is divisible by 7. So, remaining 3 numbers are prime numbers between 41 to 50. Next, the fancy number given to you is 2. So, only 2 prime numbers must be there. What are the 2 remaining composite numbers? Let us find out. 5 plus 1, 6. So, it is divisible by 3. Here, in 57, 5 plus 7, 12, it is also divisible by 3. Remaining two numbers must be the prime numbers. And here two numbers, two is the given value for fancy number. So here 6 plus 3, 9, it is divisible by 3. As well as 6 plus 9, 15, which is also divisible by 3. Remaining 61 and 67, these two numbers are prime numbers in this case. Next fancy number 3. So I need to check for 3. So 77, 7 11 are 77. It is a multiple of 7, you can reject it. Remaining 3 values, you can take these 3 numbers are prime numbers. Here 81, 8 plus 1, 9, multiple of 3, you can eliminate 8 plus 7, 15, it is a multiple of 3, you can eliminate remaining 2. So, 2 numbers we have. After this, 1 is given, only 1 prime number must be there. So, 91, what do you think of 91? 91 is a multiple of 7, 13 times 7 is 91. So, 91 is a composite numbers, you can eliminate that. 93, 9 plus 3, 12, multiple of 3. 99, 9 plus 9, 18, multiple of 3. The remaining one is only one number, 97, that is what given here.
here this shortcut table will help you to shortlist the prime numbers from 1 to 100 i hope so now let's come to the question how to solve it if you know the concept of prime numbers from 1 to 100 so this was the previous year question in this you need to find the number which is different from the others so look at the numbers set a you can find all the numbers are prime numbers here set b 31 41 53 67 here also all the numbers are prime numbers set 3 71 73 79 83 all those numbers are prime numbers what about this d in this d we can see this number 91 this 91 is not a prime number actually it is a composite number what are the factors of number 91 1 is a factor 91 is a factor as well 7 is also the factor and 13 is a factor it is having more than two factors so it is considered to be the composite number so except this other numbers are even prime this set is not belong to the category of the previous three so this set is the different one from the others so answer option d you want to mark as your answer right now let's see the next segment answer for the previous videos question in the previous video we have asked one question what is the remainder if 3 power 5 1 0 6 is divided by 12 so let me solve this so whenever base with powers value given like this and divided by another number you are asked to find the remainder what is the procedure number one take the base and start with the least power with natural number one so what is 3 power 1 3 power 2 3 power 3 3 power 4 like that just four values we can consider initially later we can increase if it is required so let me get the expansion 3 power 1 is 3 3 square 9 3 cube 27 3 power 4 81 now the point is to find the remainder when this value is divided by 12 so now let me find when this 3 divided by 12 what is the remainder when 3 divided by 12 the remainder is going to be 3 itself whenever a divisor is greater than the dividend the remainder is going to be the dividend itself next one 9 divided by 12 so 9 is the dividend here and 12 is the divisor here Friend to 7 divided by 12 what is the remainder again i will get 3 81 divided by 12 what is the remainder it is going to be 9 so here 81 divided by 12 6 into 12 72 the remainder i got is 9 so here you can see the cyclicity of the remainders 3 9 after 3 9 what is the next step definitely we will be getting 3 9 3 9 as the pattern so here from this point we can create the pattern when 3's power is odd we get the remainder 3 3's power is odd the remainder while dividing by 12 the remainder we get is 3 similarly you can match with the point 3 cube the remainder is 3 so when 3 power odd, the value is divided by 12, you get the remainder 3. What about the power is even? When 3's power is 2 and 3's power are 4, the remainder we got in both the cases are 9. So simply you can write the pattern like this. This is applicable for the value when divided by 12. Given question tells you what is the remainder when 3 power 5106 what about 5106 regarding even and odd number category it is completely an even number so when 3's power is even 
what is going to be the remainder when the value is divided by 12. So take the point 9 will be the answer. So answer for this question is number 9. So you can choose option D 9. Question for today. Choose the group which is different from the others. In front of you four options are given. From the set A is a set B is a set C is a set D is a set. Which one is the different from the other three sets? You can find and as usual you can post your answer in the comment section. We will meet you in the next section with another interest question. Thanks for watching.